Okay, in this video we're going to solve proportions for x and the examples will look like this just like the ones you have assigned. These are the examples I'm going to do in the video so I'm going to start here and we, if we have this equation, an equation has an equal sign in it this is a fraction, this is a fraction. If you have a fraction equal to a fraction that means you have a proportion. When you have a proportion, you can cross multiply. And just to remind you why that's okay, um, two uh, fifths is the same as four tenths, isn't it? It's the same thing, isn't it? And if I was to cross multiply, I would get two times ten equals this times this, five times four, or twenty equals twenty. So if I have two fractions that are equal and I cross multiply like that, then I get an equation that is equal. Okay, and, and so I can that's that's an okay thing to do. So so this is telling me that this fraction equals this fraction, and therefore I can apply cross uh, multiplication. Okay, so I can go two times x plus three, two times x plus three equals 3 times x minus 1. 3 times x minus 1. Where did the parentheses come from? Question. Well, let's think about it. It's very important. This whole thing is being divided by 2. If I go 3 times the top, I need to multiply 3 times the whole top, like that. This whole thing is being divided by 3. It's, it's, the whole thing is part of fraction. So if I multiply 2 times that, I must multiply 2 times the whole thing. And so that's why I need parentheses. So I need to get 2x plus 6 equals uh, distribute 3x minus 3. Okay? And now this is a great review for the final. It's a review of section 3.4. You've got to solve for x when x is on both sides of the equation. Okay? So my instinct would be to work on the x's first. I would subtract 2x from both sides. Okay, and that would make zero. Remember your like terms. X's are like terms. Units are different terms. So this 6 is left here. 3x minus 2x makes 1x, and I have negative 3 here, 1x minus 3. So I've added like terms. Now I have this. Now I need to isolate x. So to get x by itself, I need to get rid of uh, negative 3, or undo subtracting 3 by adding 3 to both sides to get 9 equals 1x or 9 equals x. So if we were to check the answer in the original, equation, original um, equation, we would get, you know, uh, something minus 1 over 2 is equal to something plus 3 over 3. So uh, plug 9 in for x, so we get 9 minus 1 over 2 equals 9 plus 3 over 3, right? 9 minus 1, that's 8. 8 over 2 is indeed 4. 9 plus 3 is 12. 12 over 3 is indeed 4. And so we have 4 equals 4. That is the correct answer. Smiley face. Okay, and now let's try this one. x minus 4 over 3 equals x minus 1 over 4. So press pause on the video and do it yourself. Press pause, please. Okay, and I think you should have got x is 13, so skip ahead if you did, but I'll do it now. Cross multiply, and we should have 4 times x minus 4 equals 3 times x minus 1. So this 4 is multiplied by the entire top of this fraction. This 3 multiplies by the entire top of this fraction. Now we distribute, and we get 4x minus 16 equals... Distribute the 3, uh, 3x minus 3. Now we get x by itself. And again, my instinct is to work on the x's first. Uh, remember, x's are different terms than the units. I could subtract 3x from both sides because then I would be left with 4x minus 3x is 1x minus 16 equals negative 3. Now get the x by itself. 6 is being subtracted, so the inverse to that is add 16 to both sides, 
and we get x equals negative 3 plus 16. 3 negatives and 16 positives is 13 positives, and that's the correct answer. Now, if you checked it, that's 13 minus 4 over 3 is 9 over 3, which is 3. And on the right-hand side, we have 13 minus 1 over 4. That's 12 over 4, which gives 3. So we have 3 on both sides. Now let's try these examples. Um, we can cross multiply on this one. And this time we have 2 times 4x plus 2 equals 5 times in parentheses x minus 1. Okay. Now we need to simplify both sides. So apply the distributive property and get 8x plus 4 equals 5x minus 5. Now add like terms, um, or, or excuse me, add or subtract something from both sides because what we're looking for is x on one side and a number on the other. Okay, So I would immediately subtract that 5x from both sides because then I'll just be left with 3x over here. 8x minus 5x is 3x. I have 3x plus 4 equals negative 5. Now just subtract 4 from both sides because you want to get 3x by itself. 3x equals, now, negative 5 minus 4. You're in debt $5, you subtract 4, you'll be in debt $9. Or think of this, 5 negatives combined with 4 negatives gives 9 negatives, negative 9, okay? Or, okay, so now get x by itself. Divide both sides by 3, and get x equals negative 9 over 3. That's negative over positive, negative. 9 over 3 is 3. So x equals negative 3. And if you check it, it should work. And um, please press pause now and do this example. Press pause and do this example here. And you should get x is negative 5 on this one. So if I cross multiply, I'll get 4 times 3x plus 1 equals 7 times x minus 3. Distribute, I get 12x plus 4 equals 7x minus 21. Subtract 7x from both sides, I get 5x plus 4 equals negative 21. Now subtract 4 from both sides. And I have 5x equals negative 21 minus 4. That's 21 negatives combined with 4 negatives gives 25 negatives. Divide both sides by 5 and you should have x is negative 5. Okay.